Since its creation by the Texas Legislature on April 11, 1909, the Texas AgriLife Research and Extension Center at Temple has been solving problems for people who love our land and water. Our greatest strength is a passion for helping others. This is our history, and we're working to make it our legacy. Known as Blackland for its location in the Blackland Prairie of Texas, the center is now one of 13 serving the state through Texas AgriLife Research and the Texas AgriLife Extension Service, part of the Texas A&M University system. In the early 1900s, scientists here studied cotton production practices and developed new ways to manage the crop, passing this knowledge on to local farmers. They also worked to improve other Blackland Prairie staple crops like wheat, corn, and oats. In the 1940s, farm families struggling to put the Great Depression and devastating dust storms behind them looked to the center to learn sustainable farming practices to conserve their soil and water. They found scientists ready to rebuild their land and their livelihoods. With renewed vigor, agriculture on the Blackland Prairie would flourish again. The U.S. Department of Agriculture and Blackland formed an enduring alliance when the USDA stationed scientists here in 1927. This long-time collaboration between state and federal programs grew stronger in 1976 with the establishment of the Grassland Soil and Water Research Laboratory in Temple. As early as 1965, Blackland scientists began developing computer models to study hydrology and soil erosion. The center is renowned for its plant, soil, and water simulation models, ranging in scale from individual fields to entire river basins. These models help identify practices that improve agricultural production and water quality. They also support natural resource policy at the national level by helping to assess the impact of conservation practices. And today, these models are being adapted to address erosion, flooding, and water quality in and around our expanding urban centers. Through international collaborations, Blackland has used these tools to improve the environment, increase food production, and improve water quality throughout the United States and around the world. To address another natural resource problem, Blackland is working with the Texas Water Resources Institute and the USDA Natural Resources Conservation Service on a project using composted dairy manure to help re-establish vegetation on Fort Hood military training lands. This new vegetation will reduce erosion and restore access to thousands of acres, saving the military millions of dollars each year. Blackland brings together our local communities with teams of scientists from Texas AgriLife and from federal agencies such as the USDA Agricultural Research Service and the Natural Resources Conservation Service to solve real world problems. As demands for our natural resources intensify with increasing populations, we look forward to continuing the work we began over a century ago. Finding answers for agriculture, protecting our land and water, and preserving the environment as we help build a prosperous future for Texas, our country, and the world.